My father made it very clear to me how important education was to him, to our family, and how important it would be to me for the rest of my life. The first time that I got a B, he sat me down in a barber's chair that he has in his workshop. And he looked at me and said, that's not the sour standard. You're not just representing yourself, you are representing our family. So, you know, there's no excuses here. You just need to work harder at this. I've tried to live up to that standard ever since. Well, I would say that your personal actions aren't, don't just reflect on yourself. They reflect on your community, really. My father uh, came to me in November when I was applying for colleges and he said, son, this is what we have for college. And I looked at that and I looked at the figure of the schools that I was applying to and I'm like, those two figures don't add up. So it was really then that I uh, started exploring the options of ROTC. I applied for the ROTC scholarship and won it and uh, that allowed me to go to Duke University. I, I love the, the people that I worked with. I love the idea of a deliberate approach to leadership, not so much just learning how to lead by trial and error, but actually applying some, some good solid lessons in how you get organizations to accomplish big things. I was going to, uh, to get out and just do National Guard, Special Forces, 9-11 occurred, and uh, shortly thereafter I decided I would stay active duty. Uh, I did win a scholarship that allowed me to, uh, to study in England and get my master's degree. It was a great Rotary Ambassadorial Scholarship Program. I love this community. This is where I was born and raised. And it's a community where you know your neighbors and you can raise a family here. It's one of the reasons that after really traveling around the world, living in a lot of different places, I decided to come home and, and work here. And I want more people to have that opportunity to live in communities like this that right now are under a tremendous strain can start thriving again. I'm Tommy Sowers, candidate for Congress, and I approve this message.